Bro, why bust it down Tariana when you can bust it down with Mario? Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the game sketch. Today and only today, we are here to celebrate the Switch is five year anniversary. That's right, Nintendo Switch, Cinco Euro, Five Euro. Robert De Niro up in this Euro. I'm copying a lot of Euro. But yeah, we are here to talk about Nintendo Switch five years. Holy shit, I I can't believe it. But before we get into the discussion, of course, you all know the drill. You all know the wave. Follow your boy. Subscribe to me. Support the content, all that stuff. Because today we're talking about, we're reflecting, we're looking, we're looking back. Yeah, you know I mean, we got there's so much about this console that I, I want to talk about and, and that we still have yet to come. So Let's start. You know what I mean? Listen, listen. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me take you all back, right? You know, the year is the year is what? It's 2017, right? In January, there's the big Switch event. Now, obviously, Switch revealed in October. Awesome stuff. But I'll never forget the January event. You know where they showed the Breath of the Wild launch trailer. They showed the Switch release date. They showed the Mario Odyssey trailer. They showed Splatoon 2. Bunch of games. And I remember that night being so excited that i legitimately couldn't sleep i stayed up literally all night to make sure i was up to go to my local game store uh to pre-order the switch and it was a long ass night let me tell you because i remember i remember specifically like it was like 5 a.m i was like i'm gonna go gotta make sure i get it on pre-order i went to like a mcdonald's for some reason that was next to the mall because the mall was still closed um and i just like rested in that mcdonald's i woke up when it got my pre-order i was locked in and i was ready for march and then here comes march right it rolls around march 3rd I get the Nintendo Switch now. Obviously, this is the OLED, but I still do have my original Switch. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me go grab it for memory's sake. You know, for, for the, for the old school feeling. Is it even alive or is it has batteries? Probably has batteries right now. But yeah, I saw my OG Switch right here. I'll never forget, man. Going to the mall, picking this up so early in the morning. I think I was there like 9, 10 a.m. or something. Because uh, that's when the store opened. I think they opened at, at 8 for a special occasion for the Switch. But man... Going in there, picking that console up and be like, oh my god, it's here. And having, obviously, I remember there was a, such a big-ass line. Everybody, obviously, because it was, like, the only fucking game that was on that console. Alongside, like, a few other games. It was, what was it? What was it? It was, like, that game. It was, uh, not Bubble Bob. It was some, I don't know. There was, like, two games. It was, like, Bomberman R and something else. Um, but, yeah, man, like, going to the store and picking up that game and then going home, setting up the Switch opening it with breath of the wild and i, I remember like be like oh my god it's here but I, um i still we i think we all remember the first moment right where it was docked and i was like and i pulled it and i saw breath of the wild like in the palm of my hands i was like this is insane like playing a legit like regular console game like this uh, on the go and i'll never forget uh, a big part of this memory was that night i had a family dinner and i'll never forget my mom's like hey this is happening today i was like no i'm playing this new switch all day and she was like no you're going to this so i was like the fuck so what i ended up doing obviously i'm like you know what hey man this is the switch i took that console with me i mean i took the, the handle with me i was blown away and we go to the dinner and i went downstairs i remember to the base and i was just playing breath of the wild the entire time dude i just uh, and that was the beginning of something amazing to me and i remember i remember that was a big part of when i started wanting you know to tweet more and make more content and all this stuff and i feel like that's why like the switch is so important to me not just on like a game front and a console front, but like in a sense of like it i don't want to say like i'm only here because of the switch but i could definitely tell you like a big part of you know why i was able to grow was you know talking about like uh, actually having stuff to constantly talk about with the switch you know posting a lot on social media you know i talked to all of you guys playing games with you and all that stuff and, and obviously i associate so much with my life doing this now because you know it's it's what i talk about with you all it's what i tweet about it's what i stream a lot of times and it's just it's such an important constant but man the switch is and is a beautiful concept for me and i know like you know i know i know a lot of times you know we get buried in like the the issues of nintendo and blah blah but today i just want, I want to talk about the good stuff so first of all right the console itself right i just i love this thing like i just love i like the joy cons bro i like that idea i love the pro controller the pro controller is like one of my favorite things and i just i think 
the idea of the amount of times because i remember i was still in school uh when switch came, i was in university the amount of days i was able to just be like oh wait i'm just gonna play this game on the bus on the way to school on the way back um and switch year one was also incredible bro i mean like we got stuff like breath of the wild you know we had splatoon 2 which was really addicting we had uh what's it called we had uh, mario plus rabbits which was fantastic we had xenoblade 2 which was incredible and of course the love of my life my my joy and everything mario odyssey mario odyssey coming out that october i'll never forget it how many times i rewatched the trailers for odyssey how many times i i got so high for it pre-launch and then playing that game i'll i think i have like 250 hours in odyssey i remember odyssey was a game that like I, i've told the story on stream before but like i and that was the last time i had a serious relationship because i remember i was about to really really like this person but then odyssey came out and i was like look, I, I remember he specifically texted like listen this new mario game is coming out i'm not gonna be able to hang it for like a week or two and then it was just like Fuck you, dude. It was, it was a whole situation. But anyways, anyways <laughs> that's besides the point. <laughs> that's besides the point. But yeah, no. So, the, so it's just, it, it, in terms of Nintendo's first party games, it's been an unbelievable journey. Like the fact that on this hardware that's five years old now, we've had shit like Breath of the Wild. We've had stuff like Mario Odyssey. We've had Smash Ultimate, which is like a dream come true. We've had Splatoon 2. We've had a, every indie game ever, whether it's your Cupheads or your Hollow Knights or your Cadence of Hyrule or, or like every indie on the face of the earth on this planet. You know, you have the old FF games on this console. You know, you have what's called. We have uh, Link's Awakening HD on this console. We have so many things. I'm like, I'm like, I, the thing about the Switch is you can't even, you can't even count like how many. We've got, what's called Animal Crossing New Horizons, which, which took over the We have stuff like Luigi's Mansion 3. We got 3D World. We got Metroid. We got 2D Metroid back, bro. We got Legends of Arceus, which is like a breath of fresh air for the, for the, what's called, the Pokemon series. We've had two Mario parties already. We've had Super Star and we had super mario party and both were so fun to me for different reasons we've had what else have we had those we had mario maker 2 and mario maker 2 is awesome we had a monster and a rise that people have we had new pokemon snap pokemon snap came back this is what i love about this console and so many things came back from the dead you know I mean, we're getting mario strikers soon you know we got our mario golf and our mario tennis we got fire emblem Theas, which was a massive game for this series i'm trying to look more we have all the wii u ports shout out to the wii u for giving us all these games we've had mario Kart 8 deluxe which is still sounding like crazy is finally getting more content we've had Nintendo Switch Online with stuff like Tetris. No, no, well, I mean, Nintendo Switch Online has its issues. But we got Tetris 99 coming through with stuff. We have Advance Wars coming back. Again, like, I could go on and on and on forever. Look at all these games that have come out and are still coming out and that everybody has different favorites. We've had stuff like Octopath Traveler. I just, everything, man, about this console's legacy for me has been incredible and you know I, I could go on about my top five favorite games and all this stuff um i feel like my highlights for me would definitely be obviously i i do associate sonic mania with the switch a lot because i remember that was the main place i played it taking it out with me everywhere uh sonic mania is one of my favorite things on it breath of the wild obviously one of my favorite things to this day smash ultimate still peak fiction go raw uh mario odyssey of course a classic in my heart metroid dread is pretty incredible i really do adore that game i really loved the link's awakening remake i loved what's got this just i just i i can't even man there's the the thing about the switch is i feel like it it changed nintendo you know it changed nintendo in a lot of ways for the better obviously in a lot of ways you know it has some issues we all know you know nintendo's policies and issues and all that stuff but i think that's also just the equivalent of all eyes on nintendo nowadays i mean this console is already at 103 million units in three years it's definitely going across 120 or 130 within its lifetime and i really do a lifetime i really do believe that and i think it's just because again people can't get enough of it obviously we combine it's cool that we don't have to worry about two different hardware is being appealed to you know i remember it was always a thing of like what games were coming to the hand up what games were coming to the content wishing we got a bigger version of each one um but the fact that this console you know mitigates that and all the teams are on one and all this stuff and i'm and i'm hitting my mic and all that stuff so um yeah man there's just so much that i i love about this console and i think it comes down a lot to my memories with it i think that's such a big part of you know that's a big part of every console legacy but it's a, it's a big part of why i really love this thing you know i associate smash ultimate you know with you all right how much we watched all the reveal chairs together you know all the 
Nintendo Direct to see together. All the streams I've done, you know, playing stuff like Mario Kart Smash or Clubhouse 51 games or Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which I still adore to this day. Shout out to my girl Mither. Shout out to my girl Mither. You know, she's really out here fighting for her life. Um, and we're getting Xenoblade Chronicles 3. It's just everything, man. Just the show, like, if you want JRPGs, this console has. If you want platforms, if you want, you want, but you want strategy games. You want motherfucking, you want, there's, there's just, I, Listen, man, listen, I just, for all the issues, you know, that Nintendo has genuine and all this stuff, like, I think the Switch will always be remembered as a really big turning point for Nintendo in general. I mean, it's the era we entered where it is, like, really HD and sort of modern, obviously, you know, has its issues, but we're in the modern hardware era, you know. It was an era that's heavily associated with, like, revivals, you know. There, a lot of Nintendo series were either dying or, like, their last game was really bad, and seeing the Switch be like, hey, let's try to do this thing where pretty much, not all of them, but pretty much, a lot of our games are going to be the best one in the series. You know, I feel like we're going to see that soon with Kirby Forgotten Land. By the way, speaking of Kirby, uh, the demo dropped today for Kirby Forgotten Land. I tried it. Fucking awesome. I'm going to make a whole video about Kirby uh, probably tomorrow or after tomorrow. But that demo is fantastic. Um, but, yeah, no, a lot of their games are, are like in their prime you know whether it was odyssey whether it was legend of zelda you know after people were so kind of getting tired of the typical dungeon stuff brother of the wild came through and changed the game for them you know when we got when we got that game mario what's it super tennis rush on the wii u that was ass and we got aces which you know had awesome mechanics and kept getting content over time you know you have stuff like smash ultimate which took smash 4 and just made it peak fiction we got we got all the dreams man just i there are way too many things about this console that I love. Um, whether it's the games, whether it's the DLCs, especially for stuff. I feel like Smash Ultimate. Smash Ultimate specifically will be something I I will always cherish near and dear to my heart with uh, with this thing. You know, and, and I think there's so much life still to be had with this console. I mean, like, think about just this year, dude. This year alone, we I made the video about it recently, but like with Xenoblade 3 and Kirby coming out and, and Triangle Strategy and uh, what's it called? And we're getting uh, fuck's that? we're getting Pokemon Gen 9. We're getting so many games coming to this thing this year. And that's just Nintendo stuff. And shout out to Nintendo for finally getting back third party support. I mean, that was such a massive issue. The last two main consoles, right? For the Wii and the Wii U. Third party support was not dead. Like I, on Wii U, it was better. But like, it was always the thing of like the Wii gets the bootleg version of something or like an Azure's. Now granted, a lot of Switch ports aren't the best, but in general, right, whether it's, like, third-party games that make sense, you know, like, Klonoa coming back, or the Pac-Man Museum stuff, or, or just... I always liked when companies put games on Switch that make sense. You know, we're getting Chocobo GP. Also, I think Chocobo GP got some reviews today. Didn't it? Hold up. Let me see this right now. Chocobo GP review. I'm looking at this review right now. Oh, it's actually great. Let me see this. Chocobo GP is a delightful uh, game from Square Enix. Wow, that's right. I'm actually, like, really shocked in a good way. Uh, let's see what are the pluses here. Slick, addictive kart racing, character-specific abilities plus events of a game. A huge roster for characters modes. Performs perfectly. Looks and sounds great. Chocobo GP mode should proved to be a highlight uh cons are that story mode is weak paid season pass aspects are never good so okay cool that at least i'm happy about that we read a live review live shot i think that was a nintendo live so shout out to the but yeah no i i just everything to me like I, I will i think like you know nintendo's gonna have more cons in the future and they're gonna be great but there's always i think switch is going to be this insane golden peak air that's going to be really hard to top for nintendo especially because what they've said we're like a little more than halfway through now i'd say the switch to me the switch realistically has three to four more years right i i would say year four will sort of be like what the 3ds was where there will be a new console um but there's going but it's going like the switch will still be around in some way i don't know how they're gonna handle it. like the switch is sort of an enigma for nintendo like are we gonna get a switch pro and that's gonna be like just is it gonna be like an ipad basically where we're gonna get you know switch pro switch pro 2 and things are just gonna keep going along with it and eventually some software will not be compatible or are they gonna go with another gimmick and idea that that's always the big question with this thing in my opinion they should stick to this as long as they can um i feel like maybe one day um it's going to i, I don't know i don't know it's gonna happen but one day there's gonna have to be a major change in how the hardware is and how it is because companies just do that every so often but for the the time being I just love this thing, man. I love everything about it. And I want things to continue to improve. And I, and I think they are. You know, whether... I Even though, like, for example, I know the, the, any, the their online service isn't the greatest. But 
the idea of being able to play NES, SNES, N64 games online so far has been really fun. It's not something I do all the time, but it's something I have jumped into. It's just a really cool option to have, and I hope they have more consoles. And we also oh, forgot Paper Mario Origami King was really cool. I really love that game. And it's just, I just want them to do keep doing stuff and i feel like a lot of these developers have so many more ideas on their plate they have so many things to give us and i still think i think the best is yet to come but we've still had a lot of incredible memories i'm trying to think right highlighted memories right like i said launch year for sure that was a highlighted memory um mario maker i remember mario maker like just taking over my life um with just i remember like i'll never forget i was trying to make mario world in, this is like a fun little thing i was trying to remake mario world in mario maker that's how addicted i was to it but then nintendo announced SNES online and mario world was there i was like well, fuck me. I guess obviously this idea would have been still cool. But I was like, it's whatever. Not now. People can play it on Switch, so I don't have to do this idea. But I remember that Mario Maker took up a lot of my life. Uh, Smash Ultimate, of course, just the hype cycle. We we were all part of that. And um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I think really to me, it really is with you all. You know, especially like on streams. A lot of you probably watch my streams and stuff. But like those memories of just all the streams I've done with the switch and and all the tweets i've had talking to people about games sharing clips making memes, making edits and all this stuff um it's just a big part of my life and i, I really i will never forget the switch uh for everything it's done so far and everything i think it still has yet to unleash you know nintendo nintendo is a weird ass fucking company bro they really are weird as hell um and i and i'm really i'm so happy this exists again like the idea of this console that like i don't know like it's so weird to me, you know, that I can prop this open, you know, and I can play like a regular 3D ass full Kirby game on the go like this. You know, I can go anywhere with it. And obviously, you know, with COVID, that's chilled out a bit how much I can go out with it. But just, I love the Switch. I love everything about it, man. This shit is really special and important to me. And I want to keep this video about the positives. You know, it's not really something where I'm trying to weigh the pros and cons. I'm trying to talk about what I love about this. So everybody, let me know down below. What are some of your favorite Switch memories so far? What are your favorite Switch games? You know, talk to me. Let me know what's up. You all know the drill. You all know the way. Thank you all for watching. I love you. And of course, um, just, I'm so happy, bro. Shout out to the Switch. Shout out to Nintendo for making this thing. And uh, yeah, peace out. I love you. And I'll see you all next time. Woo!